Hello everyone, welcome to ACT Heart. We at ACT Church, we value people. My name is Pepe Chomalianga. I did industrial psychology and information studies at the University of Namibia. I also did essential coaches here in South Africa. So this was to look at more of enhancing my interaction when it comes to the human in, uh, perception into life. Today, my main focus is going to be looking at the mind because everything starts in the mind. For you to be able to achieve anything or not to achieve anything, it all begins at the mind. However, it is important what you feed your mind because whatever you feed your mind, that is the result it is going to give you. It won't give you anything outside what you feed the mind. Um, at the moment, a lot of people are in distress. They are seeing a lot of negativity because of the lockdown that is going on. But do you know, even if the lockdown was going to be lifted today, some of us will still be in that negative mindset. So what am I saying? In each and every situation, it's, how you f it's what you feed your mind to be able to perceive life or to be able to see how you handle any situation. It's about what you feed your mind. An example is if oranges are thrown at you, these are the good opportunities that come in life. Or if lemons are thrown at you, these are the sour situations, the negativity that comes through life. What do you do? Do you dodge at the oranges? Do you dodge at the lemons so that you remain in your comfort zone? Or you try and catch those lemons and try to make lemonade? Or you catch those oranges and make orange juice? So it's a choice. It's a decision that you have to make. And it all starts in the mind. So it is very important. What am I saying? It's very important. Number one, what do you feed your mind? In the, for example, in the people you interact with. Who do you interact with? Who do you hang around with most of the time? Because whoever you hang around with, they are feeding you whatever they think or whatever they view life. And you're feeding that to your mind. And number two, what are you talking about when you're with those people? Is this something that edifies you? Is it something that brings life or is it something that depresses you? It's important who you talk to and what you talk about. Number three, what do you watch is during your spare time? What do you read during your spare time? Afterwards, after you read or you watch whatever you're watching, do you feel energized after that? Or do you feel drained after that? So it's you have to be intentional about what you read. You have to be intentional what you watch. You have to be intentional who you hang around with. You have to be intentional what you talk about with those people. Because remember what we said, it's all it all starts in the mind. And whatever you feed your mind, it is the result that is going to give you. So my encouragement is be intentional about the four things that I mentioned above. Thank you very much. Stay blessed.